a brief history. Uh, I was born in Kentucky. Um, I know we lived in Poplar Bluff, Clarksville, well, Clarksville, Tennessee, then Poplar Bluff, then Quincy, I vaguely remember that. My brother was born in 72, and somewhere in there we moved to Festus. So, up until the middle of fifth grade, I lived in Festus, Missouri. And um, then we moved to Heron. That's when shit started to get weird. Up until that point, I was doing half of my school days in accelerated classes, uh, the other half in, you know, like normal fifth grade classes. Um, when we moved here, uh, most of the kids decided they didn't like me. And bear in mind, I was going to a Catholic school. And, um, you know, some of them just didn't bother me, but some of them were actively hateful. And up until probably I was in high school, I wasn't really fat. But I was called fat and stupid and ugly every day. So I kind of have self-esteem issues because when something like that goes on for two years, it messes with your head, um, which is basically what happened. And up until that point, I wanted to be a nun. Yes, a nun. And... Um, After that point, you know, when, when I, I, I really didn't have any issues with depression or anything until after that. And after that, um, well, during that whole phase, I, you know, kept praying to God that something would fix this, make it stop. And um, it finally got to the point where I just started praying to God that I wouldn't have to wake up in the next day. And then finally I just quit praying. It stopped when I was in seventh grade. And I pretty much had um, no life in high school up until about my junior year. Um, I did have the, uh, <clears throat> the smartest guy in high school had a crush on me for a while. And wanted me to go out with him and I turned him down. And to this day, he still believes I just didn't want to go out with him. But that wasn't true. I wanted to go out with him, but I was afraid that if he got to know me, he wouldn't like me anymore. So I didn't do it. And I regret that and will always regret that. Um, I dated a whole two guys during high school. And um, about my junior year, I kind of, um, I kind of said screw it and developed a, uh, a little bit of a drinking problem. <laughs> um, I will never, ever, ever touch Mad Dog 2020 again, ever. Ain't gonna happen. Um, but you know, you, you, you've got good friends when they'll hold your hair when you're puking. And you know who you are. Yeah. I had some friends that uh, we used to hang out with this one girl's boyfriend. Um, his name was Young, and he lived in Carbondale. He was Vietnamese. He was Boss Young to differentiate him from Tall Young, who was like the tallest Asian man I've ever seen. He's like six foot, six foot one, something like that. Very good looking. Um, him and Raja, a uh, guy from India. Um, we used to have some good times. Raja and I used to um, smoke a little and um, discuss physics. He was working on his master's degree in electrical engineering at SIU. And, uh, of course, I was in high school, but, you know, the theories weren't, weren't beyond me. Of course, we are talking about, like, 1985. Uh, so, you know, it, it was a long time ago. There was a lot of theories that weren't around yet. Um, 
we used to enjoy it though and um, I remember a very involved discussion postulating uh, different dimensions. I actually built a model when I was in high school and uh, made it out of wire, wire hangers that I cut up and string that was it, well, it was yarn actually, purple yarn, and it was basically a projection of what a cube that is four-dimensional would look like, and did a speech on it in high school, and my dad um, kind of freaked the summer after my senior year. Uh, he yelled at me to come look at the TV because he was watching CNN, and they were showing basically the same kind of model on TV. It was a big announcement that scientists had postulated, you know, uh, multiple dimensions, and here's kind of what the fourth looks like in a three-dimensional setting, that sort of thing. Um, I did go to college at SIU for a year and took Spanish and Japanese and, of course, I took Spanish, French, and German in high school. And I don't remember hardly any French. Um, I really hated that language because what you wrote didn't seem to bear any resemblance to what you pronounced. Um, after my stint at SIU, I decided I wasn't going to go to school for a while and I was just going to work and live and all that. And I, I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I'm 46 now. Mm -hmm.